I'm Steve Perry, and in this video, I'll show you how to create a JAR file. JAR is short for Java Archive, and it's how we, as Java developers, share our Java artifacts. And in this video, I'll show you how to create one using the Eclipse IDE. JAR files can contain lots of things, but here's a list of the most common. Java code, text files like configuration files, images and other binaries, even other JARs. Let's create a JAR file using the code and other artifacts from the tutorial project. First, start Eclipse. Next, open the tutorial project. Go to File, Export, and from the dialog box, choose Java JAR File. Make sure Export Generated Class Files and Resources is checked, or your executable code and any other dependencies you've created in this project, like Commons Lang 3 you added earlier in the unit, won't be included in the JAR file. If you want your Java source code to be included, make sure Export Java Source Files and Resources is checked. The export destination is the location on your computer where the JAR file will be written. If you've exported to this location before, you may want to check the Overwrite Existing Files Without Warning checkbox, or Eclipse will ask you every time if you want to do this. There are other options, but to keep things simple, I won't go over them in this video. If you want help with the other options, click the Help icon, and then the help topic you want to know more about. Click Finish to create the JAR file. Congratulations, you've created a JAR file. If you want to look at the contents of the JAR file, go to a terminal window and run this command. JAR space T for table of contents, F for file, followed by the file name and the contents are displayed. And that's how you create a JAR file. I'm Steve Perry, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.